Hello there folks, Joe Wazoo here. Today I'm in the process of assisting a customer migrating from a G303 application up to a uh, something in Crimson 3.1 to a uh, possibly a CR3000 HMI instead of using the G303 which is program Crimson 3 or Crimson 2.0 that uh, is supposed to be uh, discontinued by the end of this year. It's been around for a number of years and uh, we're migrating customers from this platform up to a newer HMI. And doing this project, I noticed that there are a number of different uh, display pages. If you're at all familiar with the G303 package, it's a kind of a unique uh, HMI product in that you have a screen here with some dot matrix lines, and then you have a bunch of buttons and stuff. So it's not quite truly a touch screen, more of a display with buttons on the side. So what the previous uh, designer of this application had did is they had created a bunch of pages for each setting and there was some navigation and so forth. So I had started out uh, converting and, and making some screenshots like this in, in Crimson 3.1 and doing the same thing. And I got to about four of them and I noticed every time I copy and paste, I'm trying to keep the, the text the same. Um, I would either move one of these or something would not be lined up and it required a lot of work so I thought to myself hey what if I was to take this thing and maybe make it some kind of reusable uh, thing that I could just drop text into fields and it would line up perfectly so let me show you how to do this I'm gonna I'm gonna sit here I'm gonna try to grab all the stuff for this one for example and I think it's already grouped so I'm gonna right click and copy it and I'll go over to this page I have called buttons using that for playing around here. I'll move this guy up here like this. Let me zoom in a little bit so we can see a little bigger. And it's already, all this stuff's already connected, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to right click. I'm going to ungroup it, which therefore you can see these are individual fields inside here and so forth. And then once I ungroup it, I'm going to do this. I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to stretch it over to here, to here. And then if you look at this one, you can see that it's kind of a, it's got two lines in it. So I'm going to make this guy roughly the same width as that right there. And I'll do the same over here. And then this uh, looks good there. So this thing, though, I really want it to be just one line. So if I right click, go to properties, you can see if I look at the text here, team, what I've got, where's my little pointer here? That, oh, come up pointer. Oh, okay. This little line right here uh, creates a line feed. So if I get rid of that line, like this, there, it, it just puts it all in one line. So if I do that, I'll click OK. And now you can see I get it all in one line here. And now I'm going to take this thing and I'm going to shrink it like that. And then I'm going to copy and I'll paste it again here. That way I paste it just right below. Okay, so all right, so I've got these three, these three, these four things, four elements. You got this line here, and then these two lines here, and this thing here. So now I'm going to try to make this thing a reusable uh, tool that I can just drag text in from the other. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my mouse, I'm going to lasso this whole thing like that, then I'll right click and I'm going to say the word widget ties. Boom. And really this thing's going to have four items in it. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to hit edit. Hit edit here, put in number four, click OK. And notice I got the, I'll leave these here, data one, two, three. So I'm going to delete this here, make this quick. These are all going to be um, ASCII strings. So I'll make these as strings. And this last one, the tag is actually a real value. So I'll like that as real. And I'll make that a tag and a writable thing in case it's something we can change. All right. Notice the wording, data one, two, three, and four. I just want you to remember that because I'm going to go in to the item and link those fields to these tags instead of the fixed text here in a second. So I'll click OK. I'll click OK again. All right, so now I'm going to go into the widget. I'm going to click on this guy. I right-click, go Properties. And instead of it saying the fixed text there, I'm just going to hit Equal, Data, 1, Enter. Notice it's blank. It's because nothing's it tied up to it. Don't be afraid of that. We'll fix that here in a second. Do the same thing on this guy. We'll say equal data two 
Capital H doesn't matter because it'll fix itself when I hit enter. Do the same thing on this guy. Equals data three. Boom. And then we'll go to this guy. And this one's going to equal equal data four. Oops. Oh, yeah. I don't need an equal sign here. In this case, I'll just type the word data four. Okay. Notice it took on the word label in 25. If you've ever been to my classes, 25 means that it connected to the widget tag correctly. That's perfect. Data entry. Okay. I'll click OK. All right. Notice it says label. Okay. So now I can click away. That closes the function here. So now I got this guy set up like this. Now here's the really cool thing. If I, uh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to move this guy up here like this. And I'll right click and I'll copy. And I'll make a paste. So this is the original. This is the pasted version. And if you look here, if I go back to the gantry settings, I've got one, two, three, four done. So if I go back to the G303 application, that means, team, that I've done these four already. So if I look here at gantry settings four, it's rear brush pass position. If we go over here and look at this one here. Rear brush pass position right there. Okay. So we want to do now the fifth item. So I'll click on the fifth one here. And what I'm going to do here, it's going to sound weird, but I'm going to, the only way I can figure out how to manually do this, i got to double click here, right click, go to properties. I'm going to copy this text. I copied that text. I'll click OK. I'll go over here. I'll go to this page. I'm going to right click on this guy, go to properties. And I'm going to put here paste. And I'll do a space. I'll go back to the G303 because of the Limitation of this thing, you had to put a second line. So I'm going to take this text, copy it, go back to here, and I'll add it right here. Okay, there it is. And if I go back to the next, go to the next line, data two here. So I'll hit OK. This is this is the next line right here. So I'll go properties, copy this, hit OK, go over here. I'll paste it there, and then I'll go back to this guy, and I'll copy this. And I'll pay. Well, I don't know if that's going to work. Yeah, I got to go back to here. You have to go into the properties of it. Properties. Copy that text. Click OK. Go back to here. Paste. There's that text there. And then now we needed to find out what tag is controlling this thing. So it's the R412 front SB. So you got to kind of remember that R412 front SB. So if I go over here to this side. And let's go down to the R four twelve SB R R. I should go organize these into folders. R four twelve front was it front SB front SB it sure was front SB R four twelve front SB. Notice I'll drag this guy right here. Boom, perfect. I'll click the OK button, and now everything's lined up, and I'm ready to take this, and I can just basically cut this. Go over to this page. And paste it here. I think I'm going to need to move a few things around, but uh, I'm getting pretty close. So that's just a quick way of uh, making sure everything lines up. I uh, beforehand I had to manually go do every these th these things, and I think this is going to look really good. It's going to work out nice. So anyway, just a little quick video on one of the steps to migrate from Crimson 2.0 with the G303 up to something new in Crimson 3.1. Hey, thanks a lot. Have a great day, folks.